The following presentation is rated Web G for general audiences. Previously on Welcome to the Family. We got invited to go on a motorcycle cruise. It's a brotherhood, sisterhood. It's just awesome. So as soon as I saw that puppy, I knew what they were up to. Alex scared the crap out of me. <laughs> I think I need to go to the hospital. They took me to this room. They have to get surgery involved. Doctors have to evaluate you in the emergency department. Anyone can entertain you, but only we edutain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. Are you ready? Welcome to the family. Turns out that Dylan had appendicitis. So they have to get surgery involved. Our doctors have to evaluate you in the emergency department. If it wasn't removed very soon, it would rupture and my, they would have to do some crazy miracle surgery to try and save me. Are you scared to have your surgery? No? Um, Not really? So then the doctors were like, well, there's three things that could happen here. We may need to do one little incision in the belly button and that might cover it. Or we may have to do several incisions in the abdomen. Or we may just have to slice them across the, you know, the abdomen on the bottom. It depends on what kind of damage there is when we go in with the first scope. And I was like, oh my God. He's like the only one in the family that has a perfect stomach and they're gonna scar yeah. it up! Yeah. Right there. Yeah. Oh, I was close Really? Right there? That's where your appendix is? <laughs> no, my nipple. Oh, okay. Because I think your appendix is down there, right? On the right side. On the right? What does it feel like? Damn. My appendix. You would think the so shirt makes him look so much fat. So look at this. His, his clothes make him look bigger than what he actually is. Does anything happen to me? <laughs> <laughs> My sister and I started messing around. Doctor? Oh, check your ass. <laughs> oh, she's see. blind! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. What a, what a sight. Donald Duck. Doctor. Oh, oh, God. We got a second one in the building. Dr. Mickey. Oh, oh. oh, yeah. Never mind that he's a patient. <laughs> <laughs> these are too small. Who puts these on, actually? Yup, yup. <laughs> <laughs> it's now about 10 o'clock at night and we're on our way to the OR for Dylan to have his surgery. So, are you nervous, Dylan? No? Still not nervous. I was calm about it, just the fact knowing that all these people were very like experienced and knowledgeable with what they're doing. Okay, we're good. You need to take your underwear off. You can leave your socks on. Huh, that's yeah. funny. Huh. Well, you don't want me to get betadine or blood or anything on his pants so he can't go home tomorrow. From the time the pain starts till rupture is usually 24 to 48 hours. Okay, honey, sit back. I am not expecting that he's ruptured. Complications are not very common if there's no rupture. I have a complication at about 5%, 1 in 20. Abscess in the abdomen, in infection in the belly button. Um, intestinal obstruction, bleeding, something like that. Less than 5% simple acute appendicitis. If there's rupture, somewhere on the order of 15 to 20%, but still, even with rupture, 80 to 85% do fine. One of the first surgeries I've had in a very long time. So I was very uncomfortable with the fact that I had to get naked for the surgery to take place. But you have a gown on and socks. You want this, your earrings back? Will that make you feel better? I air is not covered. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't like being naked. It's just like, that's my one fear. It's like, where'd, where'd you go? What's my land? Where'd you go? The operation room. <laughs> I had uh, my gallbladder removed on my birthday one year. On my birthday. <laughs> It was just like super quick. It's like having a dream. Like you just, pff, done. Good morning, Dylan. Morning. How are you feeling? Better. After about 12 hours, I want to say, around that time, uh, they finally gave me food and I was so happy, the look on my face. What do you remember about yesterday? Nothing. You don't remember anything? No. Uh -uh. Do you remember when you woke up from the surgery? Yeah. What'd you feel? Dizzy. I hope it never happens again. What's up, guys? How you feeling, man? 
Feeling good? Feel lighter? Got a cool scar. Oh, they went through your belly button? It's the only place you went through. One cool job that I actually have is I'm a brand ambassador for Monster Energy. I actually go to Miami Day College and give out free samples as part of the job. And I tend to have Monster come and deliver a bunch of products to me. For you guys, we have a sample of all the Monsters. Every single one that we make for you guys. What tends to happen is my dad can't resist himself occasionally and he'll end up taking some. Every time Miles gets his load of Monster, we kind of take a couple of boxes for us. <laughs> It's a constant battle trying to fight them off to try and keep my monsters. Originally, it was my sponsor. He stole my sponsor. I will steal his monster. My mom found the zoo. We were all trying to think of something that we could all do together as a family. So she found the zoo, and it's a petting zoo. Really ended up going there because LJ always wanted a sloth, and Amanda wanted to show him what a sloth looked like. So they found this little zoo in the middle of nowhere where they happen to have one sloth. When I heard about this, that you can get up close to them, you can feed them and touch them, I was excited. As soon as we got there, we walked into this presentation that this guy was giving about all the different animals that he had there. We bring out a lot of different animals. So I have some cute and cuddly animals, I have some creepy, curly animals, and everything in between. We do like these like wooden seat chair things, and we all sit down, and me and my mom, who love animals so much, we decided to go in the front. We had no idea what animals were going to pop up. They have big arms in front with big claws that they use to tear at the logs and turn my mouth looking for their food. Everything from small ones to fuzzy ones to creepy ones. It was pretty cool. He goes, all right, no one's allowed to move. Stay there. Don't move because if this animal comes out, it'll hurt you. So my heart was racing. Sure. <laughs> Man, that snake weighed about 200 pounds. Not exactly a short fella, are you? <laughs> Wow, it's heavy. This <laughs> weighs more than me. <laughs> and then it started grabbing my leg. And I was really concerned what it was doing with my leg. And at that moment, I was like, you gotta take this thing off of me. But man, that thing was huge. Oh, we use a sugar glider. These guys are native to Australia. You're just gonna put your hands out. She's gonna go right to your hand. He lied. That thing opened his wings out, and next thing you know, it landed on my chest. I almost had a heart attack. That was freaking cool. so damn cool. That was freaking cool. You couldn't tell because I took it really serious. There was a lot of people watching, so I'm like, but inside I was like, it was freaky as hell. Then he brought out my favorite animal, one of my favorite animals. I have a slight obsession with the sloth. Man. Oh my god, it's a sloth. I want to own one, uh, I want to be with one for extended periods of time. <laughs> Feels as contained. Oh my, oh my god. god. Now Roxanne has four very sharp teeth in the front of her mouth that fit together like scissors that are constantly growing, constantly sharpening. Just touching one is enough to make you bleed. All the edges are razor sharp. Holy cow. I've already even come up with some names for my sloths in the future. The first one's gonna be called Slow Mo. For short, we'll call him Mo. My second one's gonna be called Neo, uh, like from The Matrix, because he's always gonna be moving in slow motion. It's gonna be great. This is very really cool. Here, I think. The atmosphere of the zoo was really cool. It's not like Miami Metro Zoo. You got to get really close to the animals, and it was set up just a little bit differently, more intimate. The one I really liked was the wolf. I thought it was really cute, and it was really nice. And a lot of people have a misconception about wolves that they're mean, or you know, they're really just like regular dogs. So I really love them. They were the most, you know, I guess like docile of all the animals. I like that. Look how soft she is. Like, what? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Right? Yeah. Hey, Dad. He stuck his arm out. Hi, dear. Hi. Oh, my God. You're a cuddle buddy. I personally love it, and I know everybody had a great time here, and I refer to everyone to go check it out. I recommend it a lot. Hi, guys. This is Alexa from Welcome to the Family. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Oh yeah, and share with your friends and family.